Okay, T107, this is a very quick video on how to use the Lift Up Develop app in tomorrow's session. The first thing you need to know is that you can get hold of an iPad um, from Elaine Mears uh, and her cupboard if you haven't already got one in the lab. And for every single iPad in the lab, the passcode is the same. It's SOLS42, it's uh, all lowercase, S-O-L-S, and then 42. Uh, so you just type that in to get access to begin with. And then the app you're looking for is the Develop app. You can see that in the bottom right here. I'm just going to tap that to open it. Okay, now, the you should see this tomorrow. Okay, you'll see a list of all of the demonstrators in the session. So you can see you're all there. If you're forever, for whatever reason, if you're not on this list, then just drop me a line. Um, I'm going to be in the session at the beginning tomorrow morning, so you can catch me then. Um, <coughs> let me just show you. Um, what happens if I click on my own name? Um, okay, it's going to ask you for your passcode. Now, this is a passcode that um, if you haven't used LiftUp before, your passcode is going to be AAAA, that's four A's, and then when you type that in, it's going to know that this is the first time you're logging in, and it's going to take you to a screen where you can update your password and set something that you actually remember next time. If you've used LiftUp before, and you've already set up a passcode, then you should try your very best to remember what this is. If, for whatever reason, you can't remember it for love and money, don't worry. Drop me a line, I'll reset it, you'll get a link in an email, and you can update your password, okay? I am just going to type in uh, my password here. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay, I'll make sure I change that for tomorrow now. Um, and I'm going to submit. Okay. And then I am in the session, and you can see I'm special because I've got access to every single student in the session tomorrow, um, with the exception of Alice, Hamid, and um, Elaine tomorrow. Um, you should be only you should only be able to see the students in your group. Okay, so you're not going to have to search. If you do have to search, then just type it here. So. Um, Let's do a search for a student. Let's, call, let's find a David, shall we? Um, okay, so these are all the students that have David in their name. Um, okay, so you can see they're all blanked out at the moment, and they don't become live until you actually mark them as absent or present. So let's, just, just for the sake of argument, let's say Bradley David Clark here is absent. I'm just going to mark him as absent. And then David Francis Finney uh, is present. Okay, um, you can't click on those students until you mark them absent or presence. Okay, when you've done that, so for Callum David Francis Finney here, I'm just going to click on his name, and it's going to bring up his record. Uh, so you can see the only module that we're using Lift Up for for um, Callum David Francis Finney is 107, which is right. Click on that, and you can see the list of um, competency tests we're using. This is what it looks like, and you can go through each one of these one by one, depending on what that student is doing on the day. Uh, so let's just take a look at uh, good lab practice. I'm going to click show in the top right here, and you can see you've got a series of questions from one to six, um, ranging from did they appear on time to did they tie you up after themselves, okay? And if you can very quickly go through these, I'm just going to go six, 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 six. Okay, so you can see how it works. Um, you'll notice that as soon as you click, um, a little speech bubble appears on the right-hand side here, so you can click on that, and you can leave um, some feedback. They were really. You can say something like that, okay? And then as soon as you click Save, it saves. Um, let's just, for the sake of, uh, uh, as an exercise, show them what the serial dilution one looks like. Um, can the student demonstrate the calculations required to make four ten times dilutions showing the final concentrations achieved from ST? I don't know what that means. Okay, let's just say yes here. Okay, I can leave some feedback again. Can the student perform a dilution quickly now? Okay, so it should be that quick, right? And then you can move on to the next student. I could mark Dominic David's presence and I could move on to him and start leaving feedback for him as well. Can he do the compound microscope? Um, 
can you identify? So you just go through these questions with them, okay? And this is as and when, um, either as and when they request it, or if you can see you've got a student using a piece of kit, um, that would be a great time to, to do this. Um, and the important thing is you consistently do it over, over the sessions, you know, with time throughout the semester, okay, both this semester and next semester. Once you've finished for the day, it's really, really important that you make sure all of your students um, are marked present or absent um, and that you log out afterwards. So to log out, you click your own name in the top left corner. So I'm going to click Dr. Robert Trehan here and I'm going to click sign out. OK, uh, Okay. so that's telling me because I've actually got all the students on my list. There are 384 students that I haven't recorded anything for. Um, I am just going to click um, yes here for the sake of argument, and I'm going to click complete session. OK, um, you've got to type your passcode in one last time to uh, record that. And now it's going to update all that information. So you must, must do that at the end of your session, whether you're the morning session or the afternoon session. I would do it after each session. Uh, type your passcode in and sync it back to the, the database. Acknowledge that, acknowledge that, and then you're back to the beginning. Okay. One last thing I want to show you is you might end up in a situation um, in a session where you've got a student who is not yours asking you to uh, assess their competency. And if the the demonstrator who should be doing that is not there that day for whatever reason, you can actually cover for them. So to do that, you're going to click on I am not in the list, I am covering for someone there, and then you find, so let's cover for Sarah here. Let's say one of Sarah's students is asking me to um, assess their competency by lift up. I'm going to click Sarah, and uh, let's say, um, oh sorry, you click your own name first. So I'm going to click my own name, then I'm going to click Sarah's name, Type my passcode in again, submit. Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, hang on. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I don't know why that's happening. That's really annoying because I've just done this whole video. Um, okay, let's go back, see if I can log in. Bear with me, guys. I can always cut this out, right? Uh, let me try logging back into my own. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's logged me back in. Why has that done that then? Sign out. <laughs> let me try that again. Let me try and cover for someone. Okay, I did the wrong way round. So you select Sarah's first, and then um, I'll select mine. I'm here, I'm here somewhere. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. Okay. What do? There we go. Right now, I'm I'm logged in, um, and you can see I can only see Sarah's students here now. Okay, and the same thing applies. I can mark them as present or absent. Present, present. So on and so forth, I'm going to cancel those because I don't want to save anything. And uh, and that's it. So I'll be there tomorrow um, uh, to give you your iPads and just to make sure you're set up. Uh, any questions in the meantime, just drop me a line. I'll be happy to answer any questions, okay? Right, see you tomorrow.